Hey there guys, how has your week been? Mine has been packed, as usual, balancing work, side projects and of course making videos for you all. Today I wanted to take a step back and discuss how long it actually took me to learn programming and get into this field at a professional level where I earned my existence through it. It's been a wild ride and trust me it wasn't as easy as it is today. We'll talk about it all in order for you to create more realistic expectations about the project progress and learning curve you might encounter. From the very first time I saw colored syntax in high school to struggling through university and landing my first internship after hundreds of applications. If you are learning to code right now I think you'll relate a lot to this and if you haven't even started yet stick around because there's never been a better time to hear this. Now I still remember the first time I saw actual lines of code. I was in high school and I had no clue what any of it meant but for some reason the colored syntax syntax, keywords in blue, variables in white, errors in red, it just clicked with me visually. I was hooked. Back then, coding wasn't a hype money-making machine that it is today. People weren't talking about software engineering salaries or AI taking over jobs. I just thought this looks cool and I wanted to learn it. So I did what most people back then thought was the best route. I went to university for computer science. I spent three years there and while I definitely learned a lot, looking back I realized I could have done it much faster and cheaper on my own. University gave me a solid foundation, especially in algorithms and data structures, but it didn't fully prepare me for real world development. I still had to teach myself the practical stuff, how to actually build things, work in a team and write code that wasn't just for assignments. After graduating I realized that having a degree was not enough. Companies weren't handing out jobs just because you could implement a binary search algorithm. I had to apply over 100 times before landing my first internship. And that was after months of studying, building projects and basically trying to prove that I could actually code outside of a controlled university environment. I won't lie, this part was tough. It takes perseverance to keep applying when you're getting rejected left and right. But if there's one thing I learned, is that you only need one yes. Speaking of getting hired, I know a lot of you watching are trying to break into the coding job market. The truth is, even though learning is easier, getting an actual job is way tougher than it was when I started. Companies aren't hiring juniors like they used to, and if you don't have real world experience, it's hard to stand out. That's where this video's partner pivot to tech comes in. They offer two programs, one for freelancing and one for software engineering, that don't just teach you coding, but actually help you land paid work within months. If you want to go the freelancing route, they have a 90 day program that helps you get your first client using skills like Webflow, Shopify and email marketing. And if you're looking for a full time dev job, their software engineering program has a track record of getting people hired in under 6 months. They also offer one on one mentorship, real world projects and job hunting strategies, which honestly I wish I had when I was starting out. If I had to learn coding today, I'd probably take this route instead of wasting time figuring everything out alone. Check out the link in the description to get started. Getting back to the story, once I landed my first internship, I realized that learning doesn't stop when you get a job. If anything, that's when it really starts. I had to go from writing small projects on my own to contributing to huge production code based with actual customers. I also had to unlearn a lot of bad habits from university. Writing efficient algorithms is great, but in the real world, shipping working code is more important than writing the most optimized sorting function from scratch. I started building real projects, stuff that solved actual problems. The moment I shifted my mindset from learning coding concepts to building things people would use, everything changed. So if you are learning to code right now, here is my advice. First of all, build real projects. Tutorials are fine, but the real learning happens when you struggle through an actual project. Also, don't get caught up in the AI panic. I did an entire video about this a couple of weeks ago, but in short, people keep saying dev jobs are going away. That's what they said when automation started in manufacturing too. There will always be demand for good developers who know how to solve problems. Lastly, apply early, even if you don't feel ready. If I waited until I felt 100% ready, I'd probably still be applying for my first job today. You need to remember that learning to code is not a straight path at all. 
hope there will be struggles, frustrations and moments where you think maybe this isn't for me. But trust me, if you keep at it, it's one of the best skills you'll ever learn. And if you want to speed up the process, definitely check out Pivot to Tech in the description. Whether you want to freelance or land a full-time job, their programs are designed to get you earning money from coding as fast as possible. But other than that, this was all for me this week. Let me know in the comments below what are your ways of learning how to code, as well as ask any additional questions you might have. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy coding!